Welcome to another <clears throat> MLB 20 Road to the Show video. This video, as you see, it's going to be the Montgomery Biscuits against the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. So let's get into it. And we're going to be playing in the outfit for this one. This one, so let's see how this goes. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Game one here in the month of August between the Montgomery Biscuits and the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Jorge Guzman, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matty, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's really struggled lately. ERA over right, nine so in his last field, three starts, and he has to do a lot better. This guy isn't that bad of a pitcher, but one of the keys, he needs to start limiting the number of hits and to limit the number of base on balls. It'll be interesting to see if he can turn things around in this one here today. Cecil has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Stepping into the box, Vidal Brujan, and he comes into this one really slumping. The numbers there over the past several games, not very pretty. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Brigman ranging into the outfield. He gets there and makes... Now batting, Steve Cecil, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Cecil. Hey, get your pitch up there, kid. Let's go now. Lefty? Here's yep. the pitch. Lefty. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0-1. Oh, Fellas are visiting team as they take the field after a scoreless top half. They've got to be considered the hottest team in baseball right now as they come in winners of nine of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Matty. Dan, this team is playing well. They're getting closer in the division race. I, I guess my question to you, I, I want to ask you, did you find that you started to really pitch better as the summer months started to get hotter? No doubt about it. Not only does this team start feeling better, but I think you get a good vibe. Start. And we'll have well, to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. And ending in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. So we're going to move on to my next plate appearance. So coming to the plate, two, Steve Cal Cecil. Cal His last no at bat good. didn't go two his out. way two. as he popped out in foul Three territory. Throw. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus. And the second uh, baseman is there to make the play, and that ends the well, inning. So they go down without a whimper here. We played four full. The Biscuits lead it two to nothing. Ready now, Jim Haley. Now bad. Yeah, still hitter. down two nothing. It's Suzuki oh, yeah. leads off second with nobody, nobody out. out. Runner at second. Hammered the other way to deep right field. But this is taken in on the warning track as the runner will tag from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Into the box, Tristan Gray. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Skied into straightaway right. Cecil is there and they breeze through this half Wait, inning as the middle. side is retired. Please, Nothing Please, across Please, here this half Please, of the Please, inning. Please, Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. And Montgomery's out in front here. Three to nothing. Should be interesting. Into the box now. Steve Cecil. He'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number seven. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for... 
guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. One and oh, the count. Now here it comes. No, that's low. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches. And when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting... He's been hot lately. Two balls and a strike to count. Oh, that one off. The 2-1. Rounded slowly to the left side. And there's oh. one away. Well... That could have been better. So striding in, Vidal Bruhan. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Vidal Bruhan. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Cecil is under this one. One down. Got it. Now at the plate, Steve Cecil. He got on top of one and was a ground down victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Gray is over now, and he's got it for route number two. Well. Yeah, and in this game, you always loss. try to find a way to be hopeful. Game, they win the first, first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. And tonight's ends as a 3-0 shutout win. Montgomery took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Josh Fleming earned his fifth win of the year as he goes six plus, allowing only a single base hit. Mike Franco closes the door for the save, his tenth. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskirgin. Let's see how it goes. It's time for baseball now as the show's tour of the minors continues with a stop in the Southern League. Today, we've got a matchup of playoff hopefuls in the same division between the Montgomery Biscuits and the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Nick Neidert, a right-handed Georgia native, gets the starting nod. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, if he were getting a chance to watch a guy that's been struggling a little bit lately, in his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.40. So he's going to have to cut that down, limit the amount of base runners, limit the amount of walks if he wants to have some success in this one here today. So I'm hitting 359 over my last nine games. So we got one on, one out. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Grounded down the third baseline. But a foul ball here. 0 oh and 1. And that one got a piece of him. Well, this home crowd didn't like this guy in the mound before, but now they really don't like him. He's gotten the faithful all worked up by hitting one of their best hitters early on in this game. And you can bet he's really going to hear it if he comes around to score. Coming to the plate now, Alonzo. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. The 0-1 delivery. Swing and a liner. Come on, ball. Get on up. And that's Come in there. Score. Base score. hit. Score. Garrett Make rounds third Make and is turn. digging for the plate. And hey, he's geez. safe at the plate as they take the lead. Took the lead. Now we got Irvin in first and second with the only one hey, out. That's a big RBI single right there, Dero. They lost the first game of this series, and they certainly don't want to fall behind and may potentially lose the first two games of this set. Without question, Dan. Offensively, no you're just matters. trying to grind back. it out, give I'm your back. team a yeah. chance. Give the Good pitcher a chance to relax a little bit, oh, even the, the series up, hopefully, and fight it out tomorrow. Hey, let it fly up there, Hulk. And oh, a big rip hey, of the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated Riley, when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. A pause. And the 0-2. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So one run here on two hits, no errors, so we to and a couple run, of men left. On now to the top to half run. of inning number two. The Jumbo so Shrimp lead it one to nothing. 
Uh, Second inning two, set two, to go. Stepping inning. into the box, Jim Haley. And he's a guy yeah. looking to break out in a Haley. big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Hit the other way out toward right field. Cecil is there and he makes the catch for the out. Made the catch, got the out, and we're good to go. At the plate, Steve Cecil. He's got to be looking for vengeance Steve. after getting plunked in his last Steve. at bat. Yeah, Maddie, you're not lying. Last time up, squared hey, right in the back. No Hopefully, it doesn't there, stiffen it up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. A bouncer up the middle. Ah. There's one. That's an out. Relay to first Double play. in time, and just like that, this side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Three innings complete, all so tied good. at one and one. The top of the fourth. All set for the start Rebound. of the fourth. Montgomery. Stepping up now, Jim Haley. He flew out Jim in his Haley's last at bat. Haley. Lifted in the air out to right. Right fielder is on the run. Oh. He can't get double. there in time. And now it. I, Next will be the I designated hitter, Jim Haley. He'll try to follow up the double yeah. in his last at bat with Haley. another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an AB, got maybe him. once a game. Maybe once a week, so he certainly capitalized on Still it last one, time. Still 1-1, one, top of the bottom of the sixth now. Ready for another and chance. The play, Steve and Cecil right comes field into field this at bat 0 for Steve. 1 in the ball game. Cecil. Here's the first pitch to him. Good off-speed pitch. Oh, had him out in front for strike one. Uh. Nope. Can't That's find the, the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0-2. Didn't get it, though, so now you have to make uh, another ball, quality strikes, pitch yeah. on 1-1. One one. Count is 1-2 one now. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. Escobar has it, and the throw oh. to first ends the inning. Pretty painless oh. half of the inning, all told. We're through six That's full, up. all tied at 1-1. One so Stepping in and ready for another shot, right? Nathan Lucas. He's hitless Nathan. in three at-bats to this Lewis. point. Now a swing, and he gets him to oh, pop it up. Brigman ranges back, and he has it for route number two. No, Coming to the plate the night, now, Steve Cecil. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him. So you can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Weak rounder back to the mound. And a good throw gets him one gone. Well. That's up. Hey, it took them an extra and frame to do it, but hey, they're win. not going to complain as they lock up they're a up. nice road victory Two here in 10 in innings. Series. Three to one, the final score this afternoon. Blake Bivens what, uh, gets the win one. in relief, his second of the year. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. No error if they left 16 men on base. Moving on to the next game against the Bestets. This should be game three, I believe. The stars of tomorrow get their shot in the limelight today as the show's coverage of the Southern League is on the air. A good matchup here for you today. We got Number 39 is the Aaron man on the mound for North the fourth Craft game the of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And anytime you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Cecil is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. Now at the plate, Steve Cecil. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Showing off my 50 RBIs. Second. Here's the pitch. On a jump 
Fastball was too much for him there. Swung right through it. Well, you take a look at our visiting club on, as they take the field pitch. tonight. They came up a little short last time out, but they've still been one of the hotter teams. And the third baseman makes the play. That ends the inning. We've played an inning. Still nothing. So we'll move to the bottom of the third. Now with We're the plate, up 30 Steve nothing. Cecil. The field. Steve. Baz is, Steve. Baz is still on the mound. First pitch coming. Here it is. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody hey, on. One up there, huh? Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. See it Nothing in two ahead. count, and the pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play. The bottom of the Digging fifth, bases are loaded, Steve. nobody's out. He flew out in his last at bat. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd like a base hit of some sort right here, Matty. But hey, you Sam know what? Another fly out wouldn't be all that bad. If he can get it deep enough, he should be able to drive in a nice run with a sack fly. Like One there, on to first, and how about that? He comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play ball with one pitch. Hey, that base is loaded. Last thing play, you want to do is ground into RBI, a double so. play, and that's just what he does. One run scores, but you don't get an RBI in that spot. That's a rally killer. Well... I got to, I got an RBI. We're Ready up five once one again. in the bottom of the Cecil, seventh the right field. McWilliams is still Cecil. on the mound. Hey, needs you right here. One time. Let's go. Now the pitch. Ball. Good eye. Good eye. Ball one, no strike. Seventh inning here in a five to one ball game. A ball and a strike now. Hey, drive that pitch, huh? Here you go. Speed up and drive it, huh? He's set. Here comes the one. And yep, there's ball, ball two out. now. Hey, after those two breaking balls hey, missed, deep, you have to be sitting go. on a fastball right here. All even now, two and two. From the belt, the pitch. And they're working the outer Working's half here, but that two one's two wide count. for ball three. Hey, have a rip like you can. Here you go. Hey, your pitch, your pitch. And fouled that one off. off. Fouled to the right side, out of play. Late on that one again. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he See can't put that pitch in play driving. right in his wheelhouse. And this nope, misses the here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Huge innings have begun with much less, I can tell you that. First and second, no out, and the guy on the bump really needs a strikeout or a double play right here. Settling in now, Go Joe Dunan. And he's likely just trying to put one in play no. here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts okay. thus far. Here we go, kid. Here we go. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Pulled high in the oh, air out way, to left field. Gomez is there, and he has it for the out. Come on, get out, get out, get out! And he'll indeed move up 90 up feet, runners putting runners at now. the corners now with one away. Good read there at second base to know he could make it to third on the flyout. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Ferrar Encarnacion. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 0-1 pitch. Bounce to first, right to him. To second for one, on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Eighth inning coming up. The Jumbo Shrimp are out in Which front are? here, 5-1. to one. Well, this well, one we had its moments of end, drama so. and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. And Picked tonight's to comes to a conclusion. Four. Six to one, the final. The four, Jumbo six, Shrimp one, took the so. lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. I mean, Number you know, 39 still wins his team leading 10th game of the year. Shane Boz was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss.
So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out the shownation.com. So the win 6 1. We got, I believe, one more game. Went 0 for 3 with a walk. First but, for the victorious Jumbo I mean, six runs, I don't eight know. No I did get a bump on plate vision and plate discipline, so that's good. For the biscuit, one run, so we'll see. Four hit, one error. I believe this would be game on five if I don't if I don't get a day off or whatever. And it looks like it's minor be league game baseball five. is yep. live and on the air on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between looking the to, Montgomery Biscuits and the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. It's baseball. It's the show. The series and off it, with a two with two wins in a row. Martin Hansen, a right-hander from the Garden Hansen State of New Jersey, mound. gets the ball here. Dan and Plezak, what well, do you got? Hey, Matt, this guy is a real good two-seam fastball, and you'll know if God, it's good because of this good run well. and sinking action to his arm side. Back bottom yeah. of the first, so we're already up the plate, one nothing. And he needs that and we got a runner at third. to be effective in this game here today. Hey, drive that pitch, huh? Here you go. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Swing and a miss again. out in front of a changeup. Yeah, you should take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. They were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four or five or prior to that. Behind the yeah, Maddie, Dan, this team is playing well. They're getting closer right, in the division right race. I, I guess my question to you, I, I want to ask you, did no you find that you started to really pitch better as the summer months started to get hotter? Oh, no doubt God. about it. Not only does the team right start feeling better, but I think you get a good vibe starting to go throughout the clubhouse. You realize that the, the schedule is trying, starting out. to wind itself down. Every game is more important. The bigger the game, hopefully the better you play. And this team's been playing some really good baseball lately. Yeah, that was just horrible. So I'm up again with a dynamic challenge. Advance a runner, I get a plus one for clutch. Advance a runner a third or better, and I get a plus three on a cap for power and twice the power games. I'm just going to try the advance the runner. Stepping in now, Steve Cecil, and he fouls this one off. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Come on, big guy. See it. Drive it right here. Ball one. A ball and a strike. I got a ball, one strike. Oh, big guy. See it. Drive it right here. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch oh, down and out of the zone. Two. One, and two. one and two. Clearly now. trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The ah. problem with it, though, the... it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Steve. I threw out, I struck out again. Now, now time the granted here at the fifth. plate as he'll step the out of the box. Two outs, runner Three. accepted. Think so. Campbell's still on the mound. I don't know how. Into the box now. Steve Cecil as he pops the first oh, pitch foul off. behind the plate. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so hey, far. Find something you like up there. Ready with the 0 and 1. Popped him up. Got a hold of that one. Fouled out. Padlo, like that shading one. Shading to his right. Nope. He hauls he it in, it. and the potential go ahead a... run will not come around. Well, now the, the plate, the Steve seven, Cecil, outs, his right last at-bat right right didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, he's got to make an Come adjustment. On, you can tell this guy's been struggling with the bat in his hands. He's got a lot of frustration. He's gripping the bat too tight. He needs to relax, take a deep breath, and have a productive A-B right here. Goodness, 0-2 oh, now. Two. Made him look silly with that one. Hey, square one up. Two out one with time. the possible go-ahead run at first. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. So no runs on no hits, no that's errors, a, and a runner just, left I'll on. Suck right now. now in the box, Jim Haley. Now bad. It's the top of the tent. Jim Haley. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. 
And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. Wow. And with one swing the bat, run. they got the lead here in X. Digging in, Kevin now Padlow. Back. He's Third working base. on a one for three Kevin. thus far. Padlow. Hit the other way out toward right field. Cecil is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the Got side. The last out. So just the one John hit in the us. inning, but it's a oh, home I'm run that pushes so him out in front. So now we'll see if these guys can get even in the bottom of inning number 10. The Biscuits lead it 2-1. to one. I got a runner at first and nobody else. Now at the plate, Steve no Cecil. He'll be looking for something he can drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Hey, that guy right quick. Has a look, now the pitch. Ball. That's a ball. Nobody out, runner up first. No, I don't like that stuff. Liner Grounded towards second. 13 double plays. And that'll get Make down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Dan, if they're going to crack through, this has got to be the opportunity they've been looking for right here. They've had a ton of hits, a ton of people on base, but no one has been able to come up with that big knock. Well, you know what, Dero? This pitch has kind of worked around trouble the entire time so far. So, Another inning brewing right here. Second. Let's see if they can get a big hit here right here and bust through on this one. A one count. Here's the pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Down, 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 down. To second for one. Return throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. That's good athleticism here by the pitcher getting off the mound. He gets the ball to first and then hustles his way over to the bag to help him wrap up the tough three six one double play. Oh man, he missed. He was he missed it by a step. Digging in and looking for more. Well, tied Steve to game. Cecil has got a chance to end minutes. this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball hey, deep enough yeah, into turn. the gap. Here's the first pitch. Ball the Fastball field. just misses. That's ball right, one. Rounded into 13 double plays. Right I don't now, like being reminded here. of that. Hey. A ball and a strike. Hey, big moment right here. We need you. Here we go. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Oh, two one on the count. Ah, well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. A fastball is moving. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Wow, he's I just a lost pitch, cause in this one. That's the fourth anyway. time he struck out in this game alone, and I, that's not something you'll forget very quickly. I just can't. I mean, yeah, we pick up the win and all. That's all. Not, that's nice and all, but oh my God, I had a horrible, I had a horrible, horrible game. So we witnessed oh, a close okay. one Thank here, God. but just this man was over. a big factor in the outcome, so we're inclined to pencil him in Bryce as the top player of the game. Player of the game. He wound up with three hits, triple, a double, a single, very close hits. to the cycle, but he wasn't able to lose one over the fence. Parker Still a Bob great game at the plate, the though. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Parker Bug wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this like year. It. So that will put a wrap on things here friend. this evening. Three From our partners, Dan well, Pleasak and Mark. I, I just, I don't know. I don't have any words for this other than, damn. <laughs> That's all I've got is just damn. Plate vision and plate discipline dropped one. So, yeah, that's just, that's just wonderful. The next series we got is against Biloxi. That's going to be another five game series. Kind of noticing it's four to five games a series, depending on what team it is. 
So over the next series again against Biloxi, who is sitting at 13 and 27. Uh, we are second in our division behind Pensacola by two games. And Biloxi is bringing up the rear with 11 games behind Pensacola. So we'll see how this goes. We still got some more time left. So um, and thank you guys for checking out the video. We got we got three of four. We got three of five against against Montgomery. So that's a good thing. The final three games, for that matter. But we got three of five. So we'll take that. So the next game will be the next game on the schedule. The next series on the schedule will be at Biloxi. So, we'll see how it goes. And until then, thank you guys for following along.